Abreaction. A process by which repressed material, particularly a painful experience or a conflict, is brought back to consciousness. In this process, the person not only recalls but also relives the repressed material, which is accompanied by the appropriate effective response. Abstract thinking. Thinking characterized by the ability to grasp the essentials of a whole, to break a whole into its parts, and to discern common properties. To think symbolically. Abulia. Reduced impulse to act and to think, associated with indifference about consequences of action. Occurs as a result of neurological deficit, depression, and schizophrenia. A calculia. Loss of ability to do calculations, not caused by anxiety or impairment in concentration. Occurs with neurological deficit and learning disorder. A cataphasia. Disordered speech in which statements are incorrectly formulated. Patients may express themselves with words that sound like the ones intended but are not appropriate to the thoughts, or they may use totally inappropriate expressions. A cathexis. Lack of feeling associated with an ordinarily emotionally charged subject. In psychoanalysis, it denotes the patient's detaching or transferring of emotion from thoughts and ideas. Also called decathexis. Occurs in anxiety, dissociative, schizophrenic, and bipolar disorders. A synesthesia. Loss of sensation of physical existence. Acrophobia. Dread of high places. Acting out. Behavioral response to an unconscious drive or impulse that brings about temporary partial relief of inner tension. Relief is attained by reacting to a present situation as if it were the situation that originally gave rise to the drive or impulse. Common in borderline states. Aculalia. Nonsense speech associated with marked impairment of comprehension. Occurs in mania, schizophrenia, and neurological deficit. Adiadocokinesia. Inability to perform rapid alternating movements. Occurs with neurological deficit and cerebellar lesions. Adynamia. Weakness and fatigability, characteristic of neurasthenia and depression. Aerophagia. Excessive swallowing of air. Seen in anxiety disorder. Effect. The subjective and immediate experience of emotion attached to ideas or mental representations of objects. Affect has outward manifestations that may be classified as restricted, blunted, flattened, broad, labile, appropriate, or inappropriate. See also mood. Ageusia. Lack or impairment of the sense of taste. Seen in depression and neurological deficit. Aggression. Forceful, goal-directed action that may be verbal or physical. The motor counterpart of the affect of rage, anger, or hostility. Seen in neurological deficit, temporal lobe disorder, impulse control disorders, mania, and schizophrenia. Agitation. Severe anxiety associated with motor restlessness. Agnosia. Inability to understand the import or significance of sensory stimuli. Cannot be explained by a defect in sensory pathways or cerebral lesion. The term has also been used to refer to the selective loss or disuse of knowledge of specific objects because of emotional circumstances, as seen in certain schizophrenic, anxious, and depressed patients. Occurs with neurological deficit. Agoraphobia. Morbid fear of open places or leaving the familiar setting of the home. May be present with or without panic attacks. Agrammatism. Speech in which the patient forms words into a sentence without regard for grammatical rules. Seen in Alzheimer's and Pick's disease. Agraphia. Loss or impairment of a previously possessed ability to write. 
Alorophobia. Dread of cats. Acotophagia. A form of disordered speech in which thoughts cannot be expressed directly but are expressed indirectly such as by making a similar sound, displacement paralogia, or by being derailed into another thought, derailment paralogia. Akathisia. Subjective feeling of motor restlessness manifested by a compelling need to be in constant movement, may be seen as an extrapyramidal adverse effect of antipsychotic medication. May be mistaken for psychotic agitation. Akinesia. Lack of physical movement, as in the extreme immobility of catatonic schizophrenia, may also occur as an extrapyramidal effect of antipsychotic medication. Akinetic mutism. Absence of voluntary motor movement or speech in a patient who is apparently alert, as evidenced by eye movements. Seen in psychotic depression and catatonic states. Alexia. Loss of a previously possessed reading facility, not explained by defective visual acuity. Compare with dyslexia. Alexithymia. Inability or difficulty in describing or being aware of one's emotions or moods. Elaboration of fantasies associated with depression, substance abuse, and post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD. Algophobia. Dread of pain. Alogia. Inability to speak because of a mental deficiency or an episode of dementia. Ambivalence. Coexistence of two opposing impulses toward the same thing in the same person at the same time. Seen in schizophrenia, borderline states, and obsessive compulsive disorders, OCDs. Anemia. Lack of the ability to make gestures or to comprehend those made by others. Amnesia. Partial or total inability to recall past experiences, may be organic, amnestic disorder, or emotional, dissociative amnesia, in origin. Amnestic aphasia. Disturbed capacity to name objects, even though they are known to the patient also called anomic aphasia. Anaclytic. Depending on others, especially as the infant on the mother, analytic depression in children results from an absence of mothering. Analgesia. State in which one feels little or no pain. Can occur under hypnosis and in dissociative disorder. Anenchasm. Repetitious or stereotyped behavior or thought usually used as a tension-relieving device, used as a synonym for obsession and seen in obsessive-compulsive anencastic personality. Androgyny. Combination of culturally determined female and male characteristics in one person. Energia. Lack of energy. Anhedonia. Loss of interest in and withdrawal from all regular and pleasurable activities. Often associated with depression. Anomia. Inability to recall the names of objects. Anorexia. Loss or decrease in appetite. In anorexia nervosa, appetite may be preserved, but the patient refuses to eat. Anosinosia. Inability to recognize a physical deficit in oneself, e.g., patient denies paralyzed limb. Anterograde amnesia. Loss of memory for events subsequent to the onset of the amnesia, common after trauma. Anxiety. Feeling of apprehension caused by anticipation of danger, which may be internal or external. Apathy. Dulled emotional tone associated with detachment or indifference, observed in certain types of schizophrenia and depression. Aphasia. 
any disturbance in the comprehension or expression of language caused by a brain lesion. Aphonia. Loss of voice. Seen in conversion disorder. Apperception. Awareness of the meaning and significance of a particular sensory stimulus is modified by one's own experiences, knowledge, thoughts, and emotions. Appropriate affect. Emotional tone in harmony with the accompanying idea, thought, or speech. Apraxia. Inability to perform a voluntary purposeful motor activity cannot be explained by paralysis or other motor or sensory impairment. In constructional apraxia, a patient cannot draw two or three-dimensional forms. Astasia abasia. Inability to stand or to walk in a normal manner, even though normal leg movements can be performed in a sitting or lying down position. Seen in conversion disorder. Astereognosis. Inability to identify familiar objects by touch. Seen with neurological deficit. See also neurological amnesia. Asyndesis. Disorder of language in which the patient combines unconnected ideas and images. Commonly seen in schizophrenia. Ataxia. Lack of coordination, physical or mental. One in neurology refers to loss of muscular coordination. 2. In psychiatry, the term intrapsychic ataxia refers to lack of coordination between feelings and thoughts, seen in schizophrenia and in severe OCD. Atonia. Lack of muscle tone. Attention. Concentration. The aspect of consciousness that relates to the amount of effort exerted in focusing on certain aspects of an experience, activity, or task. Usually impaired in anxiety and depressive disorders. Auditory hallucination. False perception of sound, usually voices, but also other noises, such as music. Most common hallucination in psychiatric disorders. Audible thoughts. A form of auditory hallucination in which everything the patient thinks or speaks is repeated by the voices. Also known as thought echo. Autistic thinking. Thinking in which the thoughts are largely narcissistic and egocentric, with emphasis on subjectivity rather than objectivity, and without regard for reality, used interchangeably with autism and dairyism. Seen in schizophrenia and autistic disorder. Automatic obedience. Strict obedience of command without critical judgment. The person may respond to an inner voice, as in schizophrenia, or to another person's command, as in hypnosis. Automatism. Activity carried out without conscious knowledge. Autoscopy. Seeing oneself or a double as part of a brief hallucinatory experience. 